The life of an average military student. The average military student moves between six to nine times between kindergarten and high school. The high school I went to in Colorado was called Fountain Fork Carson High School. It wasn't exactly on the military base, but it was 10 minutes away from it, and about 40% of our students were from military families. By going to a military school, I learned a lot. I first moved to Colorado my freshman year of high school, and I was nervous that I wouldn't make any friends. However, little did I know that's how everyone at my high school was worried about because there were a lot of military kids coming in in random times throughout the year, so I didn't have a hard time making friends, because everyone was making friends just like me. I met my first friend, Mandy, and she was a military student, as well as she lived on the base. What I noticed about her was she was very outgoing and could hide her emotions very easily, just like all military kids could. She made friends really easily with everyone, which helped me make new friends easily, too. She taught me a lot about being outgoing and not caring what other people think. It was hard making friends with some military kids because you never knew they might be gone the next week. What I noticed about some military kids is they were different breeds. There were the super outgoing ones that made all activities at my school fun, and there were the ones that kept to themselves and didn't care about anyone else. All of them have different mindsets of who they want to be, just like all high school kids. Military kids have to be okay with only having one parent at home and maybe picking up the extra slack that maybe a mom or dad would have to do. There are a lot of downsides to being a military student because usually they don't know when mom or dad is coming home. They get used to absences. They also get used to not much family being around to support them with what they are doing. Military kids sometimes have high depression rates because they feel like no one knows what they are going through. Little do they know that's how all military kids feel. Sometimes when parents come home from a deployment, they aren't the same person. They might be struggling with PSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, or they might have an awful injury that might make them disabled to do things like they used to. Only 30% of military families live on base because the kids like to be a part of the community, so they are always doing something and keeping their mind off of what is going on at home. They don't like to go home to an empty house, so they stay involved. Military students have a hard time in the classroom as well as outside of it because they might be distracted. If they have a big test and they need to focus, that might be hard if the parent is leaving the next week for Iraq and they want to see them before they leave. Our school understood when students weren't in school because they could spend time with their parents. Another thing that our school allowed were cell phones in class because if their parents called from overseas, they might let them leave class and go talk to them. My school is very understanding. I think it helped our military kids out a lot. The life of an average military student can be very challenging. From my experience, there are different types and different situations that a military student has to adapt to. I learned a lot from going to a military school on how to make friends easily and just be yourself. As a future teacher, taking consideration what the students are going through will help the students out a lot. Also, talking to them and being a mentor for the students will help them because they might, because they might not have one at home.